and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking Omega. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Ralga's Reach at 12.12. Uh, 12, and we need to talk to Biggs. So, oh, sorry, Wedge. Biggs and Wedge, basically, both of them. And the quest is called The Hunt for Omega. Wedge wears the expression of a man at his wit's end. So, Bifri, thank the gods you're here. We need your help. In case you haven't heard, we set up an op a set up operation in Ralgo's Reach while we look for Omega. It's been decidedly slow going, I'm sorry to say, and we still haven't seen the blasted thing since it disappeared during the battle with Shinru. Which is not to say that we haven't made any progress. We know not that Shinru ended up so we now know now that Shinru ended up in the Imperial hands and that it's shackled with some very distinctive looking bindings when they found it. Obviously only you know what could have done something like that. And the fact that the restraints were still functioning suggests it didn't shut down when the chief instructed it to either. Anyway, we were getting close to identifying Omega's whereabouts when we encountered what you might call a problem. Mayhap it would be best if you came to the workshop and saw for yourself. Okay, fair enough. What's the problem? That Nero is involved. <laughs> Hi, Nero. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> So, surprised. Hey, so were we. He's been brought in as a consultant, believe it or not. How many times do, can, do I have to tell you? You all played no part in this investigation. Your motives were dubious from the first, and nothing you have done since has served to make them any clearer. Out of necessity, I agreed to take part in Omega's activation, but that will be the extent of our cooperation. Passing judgment without due consideration, openly disparaging colleagues. Not very chiefly of you, Chief. I'll have you know, I am a sensitive new recruit who thrives on encouragement. Then I trust you'll thrive elsewhere when I encourage you to piss off. I will not have him in our roster, Jesse. Never mind anywhere near our work. His employment is to be terminated, effective immediately. The thing is, Chief, we've already paid him in full, and it wasn't exactly a pittance either. Four-fifths what you get was the agreement. Look, whatever disagreements you might have had in the past, the fact is, we could do with his expertise now. Let him hurt his keep, at the very least. I don't believe this. You claim my wholly justified ventures represent an unsustainable risk to the ironworks. And then pay him a sultan's ransom in advance? Huh. <laughs> Give me strength. This has been the way of it for a while now, on account of which we've had to put the investigation on hold. Let's investigate by ourselves. Let me know how it goes. I'm leaving. As much as I admire your enthusiasm, Hero, you will not get very far without some brains to complement your admirable brawn. Happily, I am blessed with a uh, surfite of the former. From this moment forth, you shall be my chaperone. With the realm saviour watching my every move, I couldn't possibly make any mischief, which should surely serve to allay my employer's concerns. Forgive me, Mifri. It was not my intent to embroil you in this mess. I don't even know, didn't even know you were here. Seeing as you are, though, I cannot deny that I would be glad to have you on board. The fact is, we are no closer to understanding the true extent of Omega's powers, and even if it was uh, damaged during its encounters with Shinru, it seems highly doubtful that we will be able to disable it unaided. We have got as far as identifying the its likely resting place, but I for one would feel a lot more confident about surveying the area with you around to deal with any unexpected surprises. Might I persuade you to lend us a hand once more, old friend? 
Okay, dokly. Then it's settled. Chief, we have a problem. The etheric concentration levels at the Yorn are soaring. Our reading is doubled from one moment to the next, and by the time we went to check them, they doubled again. What? But that could only mean... Evacuate the site. I shall handle this matter personally. Interesting. So, Biggs, Wedge, Mifri, I need you to with me at the Yawn, to the south of here. That's where we believe Omega came to rest. Jesse, hold the fort while I'm gone, and if possible, continue surveillance from a safe distance. Alright, Chief. Watch yourself out there. Might just stay and mine the shop too. Oh no, I'm not turning, letting you out of my sight. But before you fill the room with mechanical laughter, I want you to remember something. When you collected your inexplicably lavish fee, the Ironworks Creed became your creed. That's freedom through technology, in case you've forgotten, not supremacy through elegant in ingenuity. Uh, breach this contract and I'll have my pounds of flesh. It's interesting that they've used Nero in, in this way. I mean, we first defeated him in Praetorium years ago. And it is interesting to see how he's um, kept coming back over and over again. Right, so we have to go to the Yawn. Where is the Yawn? Okay. Let's go there then. And we have to run south. Cool. Next. Okay. It's a shame I can't fly. Whee! Cool. Next. Eventually, I'll be able to fly through all the zones. Won't be too long. Probably in a day or so. I'll get it all done. Crap, crap, crap. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's going to reset them. And then I'll go back to Sid. There we go. What in the seven hells is going on in there? Going on here, sorry. A vertical sea of condensed aether. Our precious has been busy. Hmm, what villainy is this? Ah, we got Omar. In slumber sweet I have lain since mine offspring's war with man did end, yet I could not choose but stir at this abhorrent stench. Have care, mortal, from within this great hollow lieth Omega. Long have we known one another, our history span of eons and stars. Okay. Oh gods, what's happening? Like a baby chocobo. It's a dower bow. Come on. 
Jeep, get out of there. Okay, it's just a random image. Huh, you're not dead. Apparently not, it passed straight through me. As if it were some sort of illusion. It is one of Omega's creations. Omega is a weapon wrought in a place between the reach of thy kind, capable of weaving Aether into life. That serpent is yet unfinished, but doubt not that it will become a corporal threat ere long. And the Chocobo baby. Interesting. Well, whatever it is, it's... Oh, sorry. Biggs. Whatever it is, it's gone. Lol. So, while this uh, peculiar thing remains... Lol. Where? If it looks like a chocobo and quares like a chocobo... I'm thinking it's probably a chocobo. It's so cute. Cool. So now let's talk to the chocobo, apparently. Where? Hmm, the way it quares isn't unlike a chocobo, but it looks more like a stuffed doll to me. It's definitely a chocobo, trust me on this. The ones we Lala Fells ride all about this size, aren't they? I suppose. Hi, alright, let's go with chocobo for now. Thy mistress's blessing extendeth not onto this creature's soul, then. Very well, as this matter concerneth Omega, I shall speak with it in thy stead. Uh, Mifri, aren't you going to introduce us to your knowledgeable little dragon friend? What? The Midgar Soma? Who fought and fell at the Battle of Silver Tear Skies? And here I was, content to be travelling in the company of just one legend. Without wishing to offend you, hero, the Father of Dragons does have something you do not, that being relevant knowledge. There is much we could learn from him. Little and less is known about Omega's origin. It first appeared in records dating back to the Third Astral Era, before the Allegan Empire reached its zenith. And said records had but the one thing to say, Omega activation successful. In the centuries that followed, the Allegans enjoyed rapid technological development, but there was nary a further mention of Omega until its capture of Bahamut. Its existence is a mystery among mysteries, a tale among tales. It was always assumed that the Allegans built it, and I had no reason to believe otherwise. But now Migos Oma tells us that's not even of our world. Just so, it hailer from another star. More than that I will not say. I have spoken with this being. It telleth of a strange plane beyond this hollow, wherein it does reside. It did reside from the moment of its creation. For reasons unknown, it was ordered to fight, yet being weak it chose flight instead, and thus crossed over onto this world. Ordered to fight by Omega? Why in the seven hells would it do that? To put his creations to the proof. If you would know more, go forth and look upon the truth with your own eyes. Wait, you're saying we should jump in? You have naught to fear from the fall. 
The hollow hath become a portal into Omega's domain. Once there, this being shall guide you. Servant of Hydaelyn, faith bindeth me to Omega. If it be thine intent to pursue it, I shall lend thee my strength. Cool. So you, uh, can... Really, can you show us around inside the hole? Can you? Quick, quick. Cool. Oh, apparently we have a fight. So, well, I doubt any of us imagined things would come to this, but the father of dragons has given his uh, assurance. Let us take our investigation into the yawn. I had already... Uh, apprised Jessie of our intent and instructed her to have our engineers on standby. Since we have no way of knowing what awaits us in there, I need you to be ready for anything, alright? Okay. So, duty calls. Commence battle for the hunt for Omega. If your level is above 70, it will be synced. Interesting. Well, let's see how this goes. Let us begin. Wouldn't have thought there would be a fight during an unlock quest, but apparently there is. Interesting. Jogger was not affected by this. What is this place? Oh, what's wrong with us? I can see straight through me. Welcome home, Alpha. Welcome, mortals. Okay. Weird. I am Omega, and I have awaited your coming. I communicate with you now via one of my monitors. You stand on the rift between dimensions, where a vital experiment is presently in progress. Your participation is appreciated. Please indicate your consent. Experiment? If you want our participation, you will have to tell us a little more than that. You are? We're disappearing. Non-participating entities will be summarily erased. Please indicate your consent. It seems we can't even exist here without Omega's leave. I think it's fairly clear that what we have to do, don't you? Alright, we consent. Thank you all for your cooperation. You are provisionally assigned to the Alpha Group. Interesting. A dimensional rift. So it looks like some manner of tower or egg. The aim of our experiment is to determine the mightiest being in creation. 
To that end, 89 candidates have been selected and recreated. They are grouped by dimension, matched by strength and pitted against one another. That which you identify as a chocobo is subject alpha and you have been assigned to its group. This assignment, sorry, sorry, this ass assignation is tentative. However, pending an assessment of your fitness to serve as fully fledged test objects, your combat capabilities will be evaluated shortly. Combat capabilities? You mean you want us to fight? Affirmative. A course shall be constructed for this purpose, though through which you must attempt to fight your way. Your suitability will be confirmed upon reaching the Deltascape test world beyond. Please note, however, that only entities with exist sorry, existential authorization may interact with objects in the rift. Of your number, only Alpha has this at present. Before you may engage in combat, said authorization must be temporarily transferred to you. Huh, an invitation from Mega itself. Not even I could have foreseen this. We are accepting it, of course. It's preferable to summary erasure, as I'm sure you'll agree. So Alpha was it? My colleagues and I are, are minded to participate in Omega's experiment. Will you transfer your authorization to us? It didn't delete itself, did it? So... Authorization transferred. Subject ready to engage. Please begin at your own convenience and proceed as directed. Wow. I wasn't expecting this at all when I I thought it would be a quick unlock quest. I didn't realize it'd be all this. We have to reach the Delta Escape.
So if I can get away with Sword Off. say I find this very odd <laughs> assume that if those AoEs hit you, they blow you off the edge. there. Okay, next. Cool. Okay. 
So one is green, one is red. Like, what if I wasn't a tank? Taking out the other monitor will get rid of this guy. Ow. Do that over and over again. As I say, the fact that we're doing all of this to just unlock Omega, that's really interesting. That's our goal, the Delta Escape, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think is waiting for us in there? Omega said that it's groups subjects by dimension. If the creatures we fought on the way were merely intended to separate the wheat from the chaff, it would seem certain that far greater challenges await inside these egg-like objects. Our feather test subjects must like, most like. But I am not certain what to make of the, that castle. Could it be somehow uh, connected to the subjects? Where? No, oh, here he is. Alpha, but hold on a moment. Shouldn't either one of one or the other be translucent? Subjects confirmed to have arrived at the Delta Escape. Analysis complete. Congratulations, you are approved for our participation. Your strength places you in the self same tier as Alpha, the feeblest and farthest removed from myself. Lol. Nonetheless, you are now fully fledged test subjects. Welcome, weakest of challengers. As Comperial life forms, you need not undergo development within a test world. Instead, you may use this space freely. Not quite what I would have chosen, but one must make do. Speaking of which, what is it that we're supposed to do exactly? You are to enter Delta Escape and defeat all test subjects within. 
Please note, however, that strength in numbers will not be acknowledged. There is a strict limit upon how many entities may participate in combat. Only a small party may have um, existential authorization transferred from Alpha. Good luck. So do the eggs? So the eggs do contain our fellow test subjects, just as predicted, eh, Garnon? So before we turn our thoughts to the Delta Escape, I suggest we set up a base of operations here. Cool. Fair enough. Interesting. So, it's somewhat cobbled together, but this should suffice as a base of operations. Take heart, old friend. Though every step we take seems to raise more questions, we will wade through this uh, mirror of mysteries eventually. Of that, I have no doubt. Cool. So next. The next quest is called Into the Delta Escape. So Sid is eager to proceed with the investigation. I think you have to be 310 though to actually do Delta Escape, so I'm not even ready to go in yet. Right then, what do what to do next? We know that Omega is conducting tests to determine the strongest being. Sorry. Um, but we do not know its ultimate purpose, nor even its exact whereabouts. Plainly, however, it is within Omega's power to curtail our stay here whenever it, it chooses. Accordingly, we have little choice but to proceed as bidden and defeat the test subjects waiting in the Delta Escape. Well, Alpha certainly seems keen, though it might be best if you left the fighting to others, little one. That is, of course, assuming others are willing. What say you, old friend? This promises to be a most entertaining foray, and I would not dream of missing any part of it. You may rely on me to provide you with remote support. With commendable foresight, I took the liberty of borrowing the various monitors that were lying around, and shall extract all information I can from them. Quick, quick. Hmm. It is a pity none of us speak Chocobo. As I recall, though, we are supposed to have Alpha transfer his authorization to us prior to engaging in combat. In which case, Mifri, you'll need him to accompany you into the Delta Escape. See to your preparations and proceed whenever you are ready. Okay. Right, let's talk to Alpha. Quick, where? So, Alpha appears eager to proceed. You may enter Delta Escape 1.0 whenever you are ready. There you go. It's now accessible. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.